Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, I want to show you a feature of CloudFormation, uh, what will happen if you have a resource and it cannot delete it. Um, and this is kind of a feature that helps you get around issues where you just say, skip it, and let's not have to deal with that particular resource. I don't know what to call this, but um, I'm gonna just do my best to name a folder here. So we'll just call this um, uh, skip delete resource. I don't know what we want to call this, but that's what, be, that's what it'll be called. I'm going to go down over to our stack updates repo as we have a simple bucket here. I'm going to copy it and paste it into this uh, folder here. There we go. And what I'll do, let's just uh, go here. We'll just say stack or skip delete resource. And I'll just create a few buckets. So we'll get rid of the bucket name. I don't want that. I'll get rid of the EC2 instance. I don't want that. And I'll get rid of the bucket name. And I'm going to create three buckets. We have bucket one, bucket two, and bucket three. And we'll go ahead into that directory. And we'll deploy this. So we'll give that a moment there. And we'll go over to here. We'll give this a refresh. And we'll go to change sets and we'll execute the change set. And we'll go ahead and execute that. Okay, great. So um, what I want to see is those three buckets created and then we're going to place any kind of file into, the, into one of those buckets. Usually this is pretty darn quick, but we'll give it a moment, okay? All right, so we've created our three buckets. Um, so I'm going to go into the first one here. I just want to grab the uh, name here. I'm going to go back over to here. I'm just going to touch any file. So I say touch uh, hello.txt. And then I'm going to say AWS S3 copy hello.txt into this bucket. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And so now we've uploaded that file over to S3. And what I want to do is go ahead and tear down the stack. So I'm expecting it not to be able to tear down uh, bucket number one, it's going to complain here, and we're going to wait uh, for uh, that complaint. There we go, delete failed, because it simply cannot delete uh, because of that one bucket. So if we go here, you'll notice it says, you may retain resources that are failing to delete. And so this is the case where we can checkbox this. And what it will do is we'll delete the buckets that it can do. So I really should rename this to like retain. I'm not gonna rename it, but it's basically retain uh, retain resources is a better name, I think. And notice it deleted this, uh, uh, skip, skip the delete. And so now that bucket still exists. So we have to get rid of it manually. So I'll refresh this here. And so now I will just empty this bucket manually. But that's what I wanted to show you. The fact that you can retain resources when deleting. And when that happens, uh, just understand that you're now responsible for those uh, resources. Okay. So I'll go ahead and delete that and I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Ciao.